What is up, everybody? Fabrizio Van Marciano here from vanmarciano.co. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Van Marciano. Welcome back to another quick Oxygen Builder video. It has been a while since I've created any content for this channel, but I'm hoping to be able to revamp all of the Oxygen Builder content on this channel and bring you some fresh videos because a lot of them are out of date. So yeah, watch this space. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Oxygen's modal element with ConvertKit to create a pop-up email sign-up form for your website. So yeah, let's dive straight onto the screen and get started. Hey guys, welcome back to another Oxygen Builder tutorial. So in this one, I'm going to show you how you can use the Oxygen uh, modal element to create an attractive sign-up form and then embed the ConvertKit shortcode. Of course, I use ConvertKit, but if you use something else entirely, that's perfectly fine. It should also work for you. So I'm going to show you how I have my Oxygen Builder modal element on Van Marciano Pro and how I use basic conditions to display my pop-up forms and more. So let's dive right into it. So I'm currently on the freelance website homepage. Now this is a website that is built using Oxygen Builder. And if you want to learn how to create this website, of course, check out my Oxygen Builder 5.0 visual design course. And so I'm going to head over to Van Marciano Pro and show you the form that I have. So this is a pop-up form that uses the oxygen modal element and I have this to trigger every 30, I think it's 40 seconds on every single page. Then I'm using some conditions to exclude certain pages and also to not show this form when a user is logged into the platform. Let's head over to the dashboard for the freelance website. I'm gonna navigate down to oxygen and then I'm going to go to templates and then I'm gonna search for the global template. So here we are. I'm just gonna click on edit with oxygen here. All right, so I'm gonna open up my structure panel here very quickly, and then I'm gonna scroll all the way down. Here we go, let me just get rid of this little notice here. So as you can see, I already have a pop-up form here, and it really doesn't matter, we can create another one. So I'm going to go to add element, and search for the modal component. And here we go, so we have another one here. And so inside here, I'm just gonna quickly create a simple layout and design for my pop-up. So let's go to add element and drop in a div. And we're not gonna use any classes. This is just gonna be a quick little form here. So grid, I'm gonna set the column to be two. Minimum width, zero. Max width is fine. Let's leave the gap as it is. Everything else is fine here. Okay, so let's add two additional divs in here. One and two. Okay, so let's just open up the modal. So this is our grid. And then these are our grid items. Oops. Let's go back to the grid and let's go to advanced and size and spacing and add a little bit of padding, apply all, and that's fine. Okay, so for the first grid item in here, actually, let's go back to the grid. One more thing I wanna do is go to advanced background and change the color. I'm gonna use this dark blue here. All right, so let's go to the first grid item and I'm gonna just drop in a simple image in here. Oops, what am I doing? Let's go back to add component image. Let's browse for an image. And then I'm going to use, what can I use in here? All right, so let's just use this simple little ebook image here, select. All right, so now in this one here, I'm going to, that is the second grid item, by the way, I'm gonna drop in a heading, followed by a text component, followed by nothing else, I guess. So let's just leave that as it is. Now I'm going to open up the second one here and give this a class. I think I already have a class for my heading. So heading light and then for the text, I think I already have a global class created for this. So let me just search for it, body text light. Here we go. Okie dokie. I'm also gonna add a little bit of gap in here. Now I don't have a global class for this one. So I'm just gonna select rems here and add two rems. And uh, yeah, that is fine here. I think I need to just select the text very quickly. Go to the ID and go to size and spacing and just remove the padding that I have, or sorry, the margin that I have here. Don't worry too much about this. It's just that I added some margin here earlier for something else entirely. Okay, so that is all fine. Uh, let's go back to the grid uh, box container. Let's just rename this container. Yeah, grid container. And I also wanted to set the vertical item alignment to the center, like so. All right, so let's uh, change the heading to read something like, sign up now to get access to my amazing ebook all about freelancing. 
All right, so that's a little bit of a mouthful, but it doesn't matter. Let's go to the text and change this to something else as well. Uh, sign up now and we'll deliver timely updates to your inbox with zero spam. Just making this up as we go along. Okay, so let's go back to the grid container because what I wanna do, we've set the column count to two here and that is fine. But what I wanted to do is add another div block. Okay, so we have one, two, three. And then I want to go back to the grid container and come all the way down here, select the third grid item in here. And under column span, I wanna set the value to three. Okay, so I have one, two, three. Okay, I think I'm gonna also add a little bit more padding here. So let's go for 20, apply all, perfect. So inside of the third grid item, let me just rename this here, grid item. Yeah, inside of this one here, I'm going to go to add element and drop in a shortcode element like so. And this is going to contain our shortcode for our convert kit form, okay? Uh, select the don't render in oxygen, check this as well. Okay, right, so let's save and uh, that is fine. So before we do anything else, let's add our short code in here. So I'm gonna go to my ConvertKit uh, account here and I already have a form created and this is the one I use for Van Marciano Pro. So all we need to do is navigate over to publish after you've created your form here and then you'll see some options, JavaScript, HTML, share, unbounce and the rest of it. But the one we wanna to go to is WordPress. And so I'm gonna copy this short code here and we also need to download and install the ConvertKit WordPress plugin. Now to save some time, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go to my uh, main website at Van Marciano Pro. I am going to log in and then I'm gonna navigate to plugins and installed. I wanna show you very quickly how I have this set up here. Uh, hopefully this will work. So we have ConvertKit, let's go to settings. I should have just looked for it in here really, but never mind. Okay, so we have some options in here. Once you have installed the ConvertKit plugin, there's a couple of things you need to do. First of all, you need to paste your API key and your API secret key. And you'll find these by clicking on these links here. So if I click on this link here, it'll take me to my account where I can find my uh, API key. And then let me just go back here. And then for my API secret key, we can get this by clicking on this to show. So we copy that as well and we paste them in here. That is all we need to do. The rest of this we leave as it is. So what I'm gonna do now is just show you how I have this set up on this website rather than go back to my freelance website. So let's navigate to, let me find Oxygen here. Oxygen, templates. Let me find my global template. Let's click on edit with Oxygen. All right, so let me scroll down to my modal component for this website. So here we are, this is the modal component. Let me just click on this, open up the structure panel actually. So here's the modal. So how I have this set up, if I open up the third grid item in here, open this up, here's my shortcode element. As you can see, I have the shortcode pasted in here, okay? So for our freelance website, let me just go back here. I would do the same here. I would paste the shortcode in here like so and then click on save. Now, because I don't have the ConvertKit plugin installed in this website, it isn't gonna work, but this setup is very similar to how I have mine here. All right, so let me just go back to my freelance editor. So I'm going to do something else here. I'm gonna select the modal, okay? And then I'm gonna to go to trigger, okay? Let's select the trigger. And I'm going to select show when after specified time, okay? And I'm gonna select something like 30 seconds. All right, and then under after modal is shown, I'm going to select show again on every page load like so. All right, that is all I'm gonna do. Let me just save this here. So let's actually preview this on the front end. Let's go to our homepage here and let's see if this works. So I'm gonna refresh and then we're gonna wait for 30 seconds. So here we go. As you can see, after 30 seconds, our modal element is showing. However, our form isn't showing because once again, we don't have the convert kit plugin installed into this website. If we did, it would be showing very similar to how I have mine set up on Van Marciano Pro, but I just wanted to show you this. So now we can go back to the editor. We know that it's working. We know that it's showing after 30 seconds, but you could choose something else in here. You could choose 
on exit intent, when a user clicks an element, show after time inactive, on scroll to element after a number of clicks and so forth. So yeah, you can just choose anything you want in here. Now, the other thing I wanna do is I also want to make sure that this form does not show to users that are logged into my site. So for Van Marciano Pro, how I have this set up is basically I set a condition and then let's add first condition. And then I select the condition here. I'm going to select user logged in equals false, okay? So that means if a user is logged in, this form, this pop-up, this modal will not show. Now it is as simple as that. Now, of course, our modal needs a little bit of work because it is a little bit too big and whatnot. So you would need to tweak this a little bit on the back end, uh, go to modal and maybe reduce the size. So we could go to, where are we? So uh, let's go back to modal here. So we have a bunch of options that we can customize this. And I cover all of this inside of my Oxygen Builder course. So we could go to advanced and then size and spacing. And at the moment it's set to 70%, but we could change this to pixels and set it at something like, I don't know, 750 pixels. Let's save this. Let's go back onto the front end and refresh. Actually, we're not gonna see this. So what we need to do is change the trigger. So let's go back to primary here, trigger. I'm gonna change the trigger to go on exit intent. And after modal is shown, yeah, show again. Let's just save that because that is all we need to do in order to see it. So let's go to the front end and refresh. Let's go to exit intent and it's not working here. Oh, of course it isn't working because we set a condition to not show if a user is logged in. So what we can do in that case is let's go to this, let's copy this URL. I'm going to file new incognito window and then I'm gonna paste this in here. So now let's go to exit intent and here we go. So we've resized this a little bit and it's looking much better. Of course, once again, our form is missing because we don't have the ConvertKit plugin installed. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to use the chat widget below to get in touch with me if you are trying to implement this into your website and I'm here to help you. And so good luck with it and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you wanna get your hands on more tutorials using Oxygen Builder, Bricks Builder and a host of other plugins and website applications, including WooCommerce, LearnDash, MemberPress, Metabox, ACSS and more, check out my blog over at vanmarciano.pro or consider becoming a pro member. The link is in the description. So yeah, see ya.